to the bakery. There is just no place in any market that smells quite as wonderful as the bakery, and you can see why. I wish you could smell how good it smells in this bakery. No, better yet, I wish you could taste the things in this bakery case. I guess I'll just have to explain them to you. There are oatmeal raisin cookies. Vanilla cookies okay. dipped in chocolate. Powdered sugar pecan cookies. Shortbread cookies with sprinkles and chocolate. Everybody loves cinnamon cookies. And these cookies with brightly colored candies put a smile on everybody's face. Chocolate brownies are also a favorite. There are also mint brownies. Chocolatey fudge cake with a layer of mint and then chocolate frosting on top. Delicious. There's a lot more to a bakery than just the sweet things you can buy. There are also plenty of breads and rolls to choose from. These make terrific hamburger buns. There are also rolls like these. They're just right for a sandwich. There are smaller rolls like this package that is just right for serving with your dinner, plain on your table. When it comes to bread, the possibilities are endless. You can choose this, a traditional white loaf of bread, everybody's favorite. If you like a heavier bread, you can choose one like this. This is a honey whole wheat loaf. You might prefer a dark bread like this one. This one is called pumpernickel bread. If you're looking for something really out of the ordinary, you might want to use one of these. It's a cocktail loaf. You can see the exact size of the bread. It fits right there in my fingers, just small little pieces of bread. They're sliced very thin, but they're full of flavor. This one is a rye bread. There's also this, mmm, traditional French bread. It's a baguette and they are delicious, but you better eat them the day you buy them because they don't stay fresh very long. No preservatives. These are small loaves or if you like large sandwich rolls. They're called French sub rolls and they are soft and delicious. Here's something a little different. It's called an English muffin bread loaf. It's cut in small round pieces that can be toasted individually right in your toaster. And we can't be in the bakery without finding some French bread. This loaf is different than the long, thin baguette. This is a traditional French loaf. Oh, it smells wonderful. No matter what your favorite flavor, the bakery has something you will love. Just look at these cakes, cheesecakes, tarts, cupcakes, all waiting for someone to eat them. And that's it, a successful trip to the market. Thanks so much for coming with me. Now I've got my groceries, it's time for me to go home and make dinner. Learn English and have fun. Come with me. We're here at the market. Are you wondering what to fix for dinner? Let's go to the meat department. We are here in the meat department. Each day, the butcher has cut and packaged fresh meats to choose from. There's beef, pork, poultry, such as chicken and turkey. Along with several varieties of fish, they're all here in the meat department. Beef. The beef section includes all types of beef. There's ground beef. This is often used to make hamburgers. And there are several kinds of beef 
that are also called steaks. This one is a ribeye steak. Along with the ribeye steak, there's also a New York steak, a T-bone steak, and a top sirloin steak. This is the best of the cuts of beef. If you're cooking for a large group of people or your entire family, you might want to buy a piece of beef like this, flank steak. You can also buy beef that's already cut in cubes or pieces about like this. These are used in soups and stews and tortillas. Another kind of beef is a roast. You've heard of a roast beef before. Well, there are many different kinds. This one is a rump roast. There's also a pot roast, or you can get a sirloin tip roast. All delicious cuts of beef. Pork. This is the pork section. You know pork, it comes from a pig. You can buy pork chops like these, or you can buy pork ribs, delicious grilled over a fire. If you don't want to deal with the bone, you can buy ribs that are boneless, just the cuts of pork meat itself. Another delicious cut of pork that's very tender when it's cooked is this. It's a pork tenderloin. Poultry. This next section is the poultry section. Poultry includes chicken and turkey. You can buy turkey breast, like these, or you can buy ground turkey. It's a lot like hamburger, but it's made from poultry. When it comes to chicken, you can buy it in many different ways. A lot of people like the whole chicken, so they get the entire bird. The chicken is also cut up in pieces, so you can buy only your favorite part. You can choose these, the chicken wings, the legs, or drumsticks, as they're sometimes called, or you can choose the chicken thighs. Also here in the meat department are some of the specialty items, like sausage. This sausage has several meats ground up inside, all flavored with spices and herbs to make a delicious sausage. There's also bacon, fresh cut pork bacon. This one is called deep applewood smoked, so it has a special smoky flavor. Of course, you can't think of the meat section without remembering these old favorites, hot dogs, also called frankfurters. And that's it, a successful trip to the market. Thanks so much for coming with me. Now I've got my groceries, it's time for me to go home and make dinner. So you two must be very proud of Johnny. Well, we sure are. Yeah, he's a great kid. So is he working at the dealership? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, he is. Oh, right, the dealership. Yeah, he just started there and... Actually, it's it been about six weeks. Has it been that long? Hmm. What's he doing down there? Well, you know, he does a bit of the, um... Hello, what do you call it? Um... Detailing? Oh, right, right. Detailing, right. He loves washing those cars. Actually, Tom, he hates washing cars. He just thinks it's a good place to start until he can move into sales. Ah, well, that's my Johnny, huh? What would think of? He graduates next year? No, 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 no. See, he still has a couple of fun. Yes, he does. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, sure, Johnny graduates next year. Need to get closer to your family? Larry, what about your kids? You have kids, right? Somebody you can talk about, no? Give your family everything. Give them your time. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. Come with me. We're here at the market. All over the world, people go shopping for their food. Some people shop at outdoor markets. Others shop at large supermarkets. But whatever you do, one thing's for certain. When we go shopping, 
we all like to find something delicious. Come with me, we're here at the market. We're here in the produce department. Shoppers can find all sorts of delicious fresh fruits and vegetables. Let's take a look. Apples are grown all over the world. There are so many varieties. There are red and yellow apples, red apples, red and green apples, green apples, and yellow apples. With so many varieties of apples, it's hard to choose, but my favorite are these, Honeycrisp. These are melons. Sometimes you can buy them at the store all cut and ready to eat. These are tropical fruits. They are grown in warmer climates. Mango. Coconut. Papaya. Pineapple. This is an unusual fruit. It's called a pomegranate. Grapes are always a favorite. Red grapes or green grapes. Squash comes in many varieties. Acorn squash. Spaghetti squash. Butternut squash. Banana squash. Jicama. Jicama. Almost every time we cook, we need some of these onions. There are a lot to choose from. Yellow onions, white onions, red onions, even these small onions called pearl onions that give an extra flavor. These are also important for adding extra flavor. This is a clove of garlic. This is garlic. This is a root of ginger, fresh ginger root. Do you like tomatoes? I use them almost every single day. These are cooking tomatoes. You can also buy large tomatoes, tomatoes on the vine, cherry tomatoes, medium tomatoes, small grape tomatoes just right for your salads. There are even green tomatoes called tomatillos. You can't come to the produce section and not buy some of these. These are peppers. This small one is a jalapeno pepper. It's hot and spicy and adds great flavor to a lot of your cooking. This bigger one is a milder pepper. It's used in all sorts of dishes. Oftentimes people stuff it with cheese or their other favorite foods. Have you ever eaten a chili relleno? This is the type of pepper used in making that dish. Another variety of pepper is the bell pepper. They come in several colors and add vibrant color to your table. Here we have red peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers. And that's it, a successful trip to the market. Thanks so much for coming with me. Now I've got my groceries, it's time for me to go home and make dinner. Children can learn English by watching Hello Channel. Come with me, we're here at the market. All over the world, people go shopping for their food. Some people shop at outdoor markets. 
others shop at large supermarkets. But whatever you do, one thing's for certain. When we go shopping, we all like to find something delicious. Come with me. We're here at the market. We're here in the produce department. Shoppers can find all sorts of delicious fresh fruits and vegetables. Let's take a look. Now, if you prefer to make your own salad at home rather than get it at the salad bar, this is where you want to start with the lettuce. You can buy red leaf lettuce, green leafy lettuce, or many other varieties like romaine lettuce or iceberg. There's also this purple lettuce called radicchio. Bean sprouts are also delicious on a salad. You can also make salads with cabbage, purple cabbage, green cabbage, Napa cabbage. These are sugar peas. They can be used in salads, made as a vegetable, or just eaten as a healthy snack. You've probably seen one of these. It's called an eggplant. This is celery, used for snacking, salads, soups, and just about anything that needs good flavor. This is celery. These are radishes. Aren't they beautiful? They add rich red color and delicious flavor to salads and many other dishes. These green onions are terrific. You can use both the top and the bottom to add flavor to many of your dishes. This vegetable is called watercress. It gives salads a nutty, almost spicy flavor. We all know what these are. They're called carrots and they are delicious. They're great in salads, soups, eating as a healthy snack, and as a side dish all by themselves. This vegetable is asparagus. Notice the way the asparagus has been stood in a pan of water, about a half an inch. This way, the water keeps the vegetable nice and moist so it stays fresh. On a special occasion, my family likes these, artichokes. You can steam artichokes in a big pot of hot water. They are so good. Two of the most nutritious of all vegetables are these, cauliflower and broccoli. My family likes to melt cheese on top. This is a special ingredient in so many recipes. Mmm, cilantro. These are Brussels sprouts. Did you know this is how they grow? Oftentimes, in a market, you'll find them like this, already in a package, off the branch. Do you know what these are? They're called leeks. They're used often in soups and vegetable dishes. Corn grows all over the world. This market features corn right on the cob. Don't forget about these. They're called green beans. My kids like to sit around the table and snap off the ends before we cook them. These vegetables are sometimes called the root vegetables because they're grown down under the ground. This is called a rutabaga. Kind of a funny name, a rutabaga. This one that looks like a yellow carrot is actually called a parsnip. A parsnip. And this vegetable is called a turnip. You can always tell a turnip because it has purple on the bottom. This is a cucumber. It is sliced and used in salads, on sandwiches, and it's sliced thinly and served with vinegar. The squash family also includes these smaller varieties, zucchini squash and yellow squash. And that's it, a successful trip to the market. Thanks so much for coming with me. Now I've got my groceries, it's time for me to go home and make dinner.